As the European tour touched down in Qatar last week for the second event of the Middle East swing, one player had an extra spring in his step as he prepared to tee it up there. The previous Sunday, Spain's Pablo Lara Thabal had held off Phil Mickelson and Rory McIlroy to take the Abu Dhabi HSBC Championship, his first European tour victory for almost three years. Being a Golfing World ambassador, we sat Pablo down for an exclusive chat about his big win. I've been working very hard on my golfing uh, um, with my, my coach and my, and my brother back in home and uh, a lot of uh, a physical trainer training and uh, a lot of uh, mental training as well. So hopefully it's uh, the beginning of, uh, of something, uh, you know, of a year very, very special and, uh, and uh, I know that uh, good things uh, are coming. If he can keep up the form he showed in Abu Dhabi, his prediction could be spot on. After the win, he sits at a career-high 53rd on the official World Golf Rankings and is now close to some serious schedule changes in 2014. I'm one step from all the majors and, uh, and world championships. I'm three spots only from, from playing my first Masters. But uh, it's all about uh, working, working uh, every day uh, to, and, uh, and keep it going. You don't have to, to think in the future. In the, the future, takes care of, of itself. The way Pablo closed out in Abu Dhabi proves he's got the game to compete in golf's biggest tournaments. His five-word into the 72nd hole on Sunday was an absolute corker and played with Mickelson and McElroy breathing down his neck. Playing 18, I have met the tournament in my hands. I mean, uh, I only need a, a birdie on a par five that I reach in two to, uh, to win the title because Phil Mickelson had to make eagle and, you know, it's, it's a tough pin. It's, a, it's an easy pin to make birdie, but a tough pin to make eagle. So, um, you know, uh, thinking, thinking on the tee, I thought uh, uh, to go for a three wood. I ripped, the, I ripped my three wood in the middle and uh, I had the 285 yards uh, to the hole. And uh, I took my five wood and uh, it went straight at it. All he then needed to do was two putt for birdie and the title was his. But Pablo's first effort came up way short. And that left him with a much tougher part than he would have liked for his birdie. I was very nervous on the first part. I didn't do any, any, any swing, I, you know, and I left myself, uh, you know, uh, a six feet uh, that uh, was a straight part. And, uh, you know, I, I looked at trying to find a, a break. I couldn't find any break. and. Uh, and just aim and stroke it, and, and that's, that's what I did. It wasn't until the official presentation ceremony afterwards he was able to take in what had just happened. Beating Mickelson and McElroy with seven majors between them, Lara Thabal suddenly felt a bit out of place. I was thinking, what the, I'm doing here, you know? Uh, it's Roy McElroy on my left, and Far away on my left is, is Phil Mickelson, uh, two of the of the best three, uh, most talented guys in in my era. So uh, and I beat them. So so uh, it feel feel weird. Pablo played with McElroy on the final day and got a close up view of how the former world number one is progressing with his climb back up the rankings following a disappointing 2013 season. And his verdict is that the former U.S. Open and U.S. PGA champion isn't too far away from his devastating best. It's a pleasure to play against the, uh, the best in the world, and, uh, and Rory is, is one of them. But uh, outside that, it's, it's, he's a true gentleman. I love his game, and uh, Tiger will, will need to, to play very good to keep the, the number one, because Rory McIlroy is, uh, is uh, he's back. If he continues his good form, there's a great chance that Pablo could join McElroy in a European team defending the Ryder Cup, which they won so thrillingly at Medina two years ago. It's a target he's already addressed with the captain, Paul McGinley. When we knew that uh, Paul was, uh, was the, uh, the captain, uh, I talked to Paul and uh, I told him, uh, the, you know, uh, the most important thing in, uh, in my golfing career will be to play on, on your team and, or, or on the Ryder Cup. So uh, he knows how much it means, the Ryder Cup, to me. You know, it's a dream, and the dreams, uh, the dreams happen.